Tell him to come over. So okay. Fifty dollars. Can I can I can I put my suitcase back together? Is that all right? Or, or you not done searching? Oh. Once you're done, I'll clean it up, boss. Done. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, well, you know, I'm faster, but I had some fruit. <laughs> yeah, had some fruit. Oh, man, I ain't never went through this before right here, boy. The Carolinas is something new. My goodness. Woo. It's the banner for the table. We good to go or? All right. Y'all wanna hop in with us, Queen? Or yes. we wanna wait till the general's but done? Yes, or? Okay, you know what? See, we might wanna wait. Okay, okay. You know what? Let me get my other cell. Okay, so what do I need to do? Do I need to wait? Do you stay put right here? Okay. You gotta... Let me get.
Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is your big brother, King Kong Consciousness, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. We live and direct HBCU Benedict College, Juneteenth. We're pulling up, damn near strip searched. I don't know if this is FBI, CIA, Homeland Security. I'm here with my good brothers and sisters from the Fred Hampton Gun Club who drove down to provide support and security for your brother, Dr. Umar. They did an excellent job holding me down yesterday in Charlotte. And now we are in Columbia, South Carolina on the 157th Juneteenth Emancipation Day. And I'm disgusted by the way we're being treated. I hope all y'all paying attention to this. I hope all y'all paying attention to this. We supposed to be celebrating freedom, but yet we being accosted by the police. We supposed to be celebrating freedom and now we're being accosted by the police. They say that they spelled marijuana in one of the comrades cars, one of the brothers, one of the allies, brothers in arms. They talking about they smell marijuana. They searched me, stripped, opened up my suitcase, all my bags, sniffing my drawers, my socks. South Carolina pull up. I'm in the building. I speak at four o'clock. South Carolina pull up. I'm in the building. I speak at four o'clock. And uh, it's just crazy right now. It's just crazy right now. More police, here come more police. I thought we supposed to be free. That's what they teach our kids in public school. I thought we supposed to be free. That's what the Democratic Party Congressional Caucus told us. I thought we supposed to be free. That's what the black church told us. I'm showing up the keynote Juneteenth and look how I'm being treated. I'm showing up the keynote Juneteenth in South Carolina, one of the largest import destinations for our ancestors into this country. And look how we being treated on Juneteenth, on our day, brothers and sisters. On our day, brothers and sisters, the keynote speaker, look at how we being treated, brothers and sisters. Still not free, 157 years later. Still not free. South Carolina pull up, Dr. Umar's in the building. South Carolina pull up, Dr. Umar's in the building. FBI, CIA. If y'all didn't think Dr. Umar was at the top of the list, y'all know now. If y'all didn't think Dr. Umar was at the top of the list, y'all know now. Who told them we were coming? Who told them we were coming? Who told them we were coming, brothers and sisters? The surveillance state. The surveillance state is here, brothers and sisters. The surveillance state is here. Who told them I was coming? How they knew we was pulling up right now? COINTELPRO is for real. This is what you go through when you're a real activist for the people. This is what you go through when you're a real freedom fighter for the people. This is what you go through when you're a real freedom fighter for the people. Peace, King. This is what you go through. See, when you sit on YouTube making videos all day, armchair revolutionaries, Facebook revolutionaries, YouTube revolutionary, TikTok revolutionaries, Twitter revolutionaries. 
we do real work. This is what you go through when you do real work. Real saving the children, real protecting the community. Saving the children like Dr. Umar, protecting the community like the Fred Hampton Gun Club. Shout out to the new Black Panther Party also. They also hold the brother down often. On Juneteenth, that's the, the point that I'm making is Juneteenth. They trying to steal my joy today, brothers and sisters. They trying to steal my joy. I just wanted to get some sun and talk to the people. They trying to steal my joy. I just wanted to get some sun. This is the day our ancestors made right here. This is the day our ancestors made when black troops from all over America showed up in Texas. I said this is the 157th anniversary of when black troops from all over America showed up in Texas to force the white slave masters to liberate our brothers and sisters. That's what Juneteenth is. It ain't about no Abraham Lincoln. It ain't about no General Gordon Granger reading Special Order Number 3. Black soldiers was in Texas since 1863 as part of the Texas campaign, brothers and sisters. My two ancestors was there. My three times great grandfather and my four times great grandfather was with the 19th and 9th Regiment U.S. Colored Troops. They came into Texas. They occupied the cities and they forced the slave masters. They forced the slave masters to let our ancestors go free, brothers and sisters. And this is what I got to deal with on a date I'm honoring my ancestors and honoring black freedom, remembering those who went through the greatest human tragedy and casualty in the history of mankind. This is what I go through. And they got black police doing it to us. They got black police doing it to us. They got black police doing it to us. This might have been a tree they hung Nat Turner on. This, well, Nat Turner, Virginia. This might have been a tree they hung Denmark Vesey on. I speak at four. I speak at four. South Carolina, pull up Greenville, Charleston, pull up Rock Hill, Columbia. I'm hitting the stage at four, and I got something to say today. I got something to say today. Oh, the ancestors, y'all better speak through me today at four o'clock. Ancestors better speak through me at four o'clock today. I got something to say. This ain't making no sense. This ain't making no sense. This ain't making no sense. They confiscating all kind of weapons. What is y'all doing? They smelled marijuana. They smelled marijuana. Fabricate just cause we just going to fabricate just cause we just going to fabricate they go to sheriff here come the sheriff pulling up we got the deputy sheriff pulling up brothers and sisters i need y'all to make a complaint what's that website i can't even see it we got to make some complaints i'm supposed to be signing books and taking pictures right now I'm supposed to be signing books and taking pictures right now. They got us blocked in with Negro troops, not the Negro troops from the Civil War, Negro Pian troops from the white power structure, not African troops from the Civil War. He going through another trunk. They with the keynote speaker. They already said that. They here to provide security for Dr. Umar because you got white folks running up on black folks blowing their brains out. They here to provide security for the Prince of Pan-Africanism. They here to provide security for the most requested black scholar in the world to protect my life and safety and the life and safety of our family at the event because it ain't about me, it's about we. And because they here to protect my life and safety, because they here to protect my life and safety, they gotta go through this. They got Dylan Roof didn't have to go through this. They took him to Burger King to get a sandwich. That devil up in Buffalo, he didn't have to go through this. 
All these mass white killers, they don't have to go through this. They taking the weapons, what they taking the weapons for? Shout out to the Fred Hampton Gun Club for standing their ground. Shout out to the Fred Hampton Gun Club for standing their ground, brothers and sisters. This is what you go through when you real. Carolina didn't change. What's going on in the Carolinas? What's going on in the Carolinas, brothers and sisters? This brother went through my drawers, my socks, my t-shirts. He went through damn my dashikis, messing up my dashikis. Y'all know I don't play about my dashikis. Up here, black police accosting black men doing security for a black organizer. Black police accosting a black security team. Fred Hampton Gun Club, brothers and sisters. Support the Fred Hampton Gun Club. Support the Fred Hampton Gun Club. Support the Fred Hampton Gun Club. Sister Assign Fred Hampton Gun Club. Brothers and sisters, send a cash app. Fred Hampton Gun Club. Brothers and sisters, send a cash app. Fred Hampton Gun Club. Brothers and sisters, send a cash app. Fred Hampton Gun Club. Brothers and sisters, send a cash app. Dollar sign. Fred Hampton Gun Club. Support the shockumentary, brothers and sisters. This is why we need the shockumentary, the war against black men and women. Our boys and girls from childhood to adulthood. Benedict College, HBCU. We at Benedict College. This is how we get treated at an HBCU. I'm not going to blame the HBCU, though. Hit the cash app for the shockumentary, dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. Hit the cash app for the shockumentary, dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. Hit Chazelle for the shockumentary, 215-989-9858. For the shockumentary, 215-989-9858. Hit your cash app for FDMG, dollar sign FDMG School. Hit your cash app for FDMG, dollar sign FDMG School. Hit your cash app for the shockumentary, dollar sign Dr. Umar Johnson. Hit your cash app for the Fred Hampton Gun Club, dollar sign Fred Hampton Gun Club, because we do the work. We not YouTube revolutionaries, Instagram revolution. We do the work. That's why we being stopped by Homeland Security, FBI, CIA. Would a real organizers please stand up? Would a real activist please stand up? I'm supposed to be inside, but I ain't leaving my brothers and sisters out here. I ain't leaving my brothers and sisters out here. No, sir. We stand together. We die together. We strive together. United we stand, divided we fall. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my continental Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Africans in Europe. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Africans in Asia. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Australian Africans, my South Pacific Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Caribbean Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my Central and South American Africans. Peace and Pan-Africanism to my American Africans, my South Carolina Africans, my North Carolina Africans, brothers and sisters. Peace and Pan-Africanism. This is what you go through when you real, when you really fight for the people. Stopping me at the gate of a Juneteenth celebration where I am the keynote. Stopping me at the gate of the Juneteenth celebration where I am the keynote. Stopping me at the gate of the Juneteenth celebration and my security detail, Fred Hampton Gun Club. And I'm the keynote speaker on Juneteenth. I need y'all to see the irony the contradiction. I need you to see the hypocrisy. This is a day for black ancestors to be celebrated. This is a day we memorialize those who was put through the greatest unnatural human disaster ever in recorded history. And we being accosted at a black festival by black police 
at a black college. We being accosted at a black festival by black police at a black college. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm fasting too. This has been quite a Pan-African fast season. Today is the 19th. We started on the 10th. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Praise be to the most high. This is the ninth day. Nine is the ancestors. This is the ninth day. Nine is the ancestors. This is the ninth day. Nine is the ancestors. If you come into the festival, come down Edgeland Road. When you come to the stadium, you got to come down Edgeland Road because the main road to the stadium is blocked. Make sure you come down Edgeland Road, brothers and sisters. Come down Edgeland Road. Ifa Tunde versus the state. Ifa Tunde versus the state. Ifa Tunde versus the state. I got to fight the state of South Carolina. We fight in the state of the city of Wilmington. Want to block the festival. What's going on, brothers and sisters? What's going on, brothers and sisters? It's Ifa Tunde versus the state. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. Are you live? Good to see you. Everybody. How are you? Alright. Yes, sir. Um, that red tent up there, right, Bob? Yes. Okay. That's right. I, all right, I'm gonna see you over there. Okay. okay.
Come hop in, Phantom. What's the deal? How long you been here? Like <laughs> hour and a half, two hours. Now, where you? Where can I park? That's the red tent. Where should I? Where are you speaking at? That on the stage, but I want to be by my tent. That's where the book's at. Right. That's where my sister. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna let you park down here. Okay, where did you park? Up there. You think I need to be up there or down here? Down here. Okay. Yeah, the rough trip. Nah, well, they just stopped us right there. Everything else was straight. I think you gotta go that way. I don't know what's going on. They, I don't even know how they knew we was coming, bro. Yeah, they all, that's everybody. They tell everybody to go through the other way. They went to stop you. Yeah, went over what? The other side. Oh, so we behind the stage. That's cool. You speaking on this page? This stage? I guess. How many stages is it? Well, you said the stadium. <laughs> I know. They told me. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you know I was looking for your other car. Okay. Nah, this is rental. As you should. Yeah. Let me, let me end this real quick. I got to end this live.